flying around as a pilot, you have a plan A and a plan B. Today we're taking plan B. Sarasota. We're going to start up the engine in the TBM 850 today. And we're going to be on an IFR flight from Sarasota up to Albany, Georgia. NGE's all stable. Introduce the fuel. Looking for hot starts, hung starts. Two major engine starting malfunctions you could have. Marshall are out there in front of us. All right, good start. Sarasota Wind and Airport Information Foxtrot Special Observation 2104 Zulu. Wind 200 at 10, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 242.22, altimeter 299 or 5. ILS approach runway 14 and use landing in the parting runway 14, runway 22. Notice there, I'm in ground control, plan delivery combined, frequency 121.9, all aircraft feedback runway Simon Hall, short instructions. Advise initial contact, you have Foxtrot. All right, we have information Foxtrot. We'll go over to ground here. There, Soda Ground, good afternoon. TBM 851 Tango Bravo over at Retric South with Foxtrot looking to pick our IFR. TBM 851 Tango Bravo, Sarasota Ground. Clear to Kilo Alpha Bravo Yankee Airport via Radar Vectors SETI, Charlie, Echo, Delta, Delta, India, direct cross city, then as filed. After departure, fly heading 180, maintain 1,600, expect flight level 260, 10 minutes after departure. Tampa departure frequency 119.65, squawk 3712. Cleared up to Albany, Georgia, Radar Vectors SETI, which is Charlie. India, Charlie Echo, Delta Delta Echo, direct cross city as file, we'll maintain 180 in the heading, 1,600 feet on departure, we'll expect flight level 260, 10 minutes after, 1965 on departure frequency, and 3712 in the box, Ray 51 Tango Bravo. TBM 51 Tango Bravo, read back correct, except uh, SETI intersection is CEDDI, Charlie Echo, Delta Delta India. Press read back correct, advise ready. Alright, we're all good to go. Give uh, ground a call here for Ray with Taxi. Sarasota Ground, November 851 Tango Bravo at Retric South, Foxtrot Ray Taxi IFR. November 851 Tango Bravo, Sarasota Ground, runway 22, taxi via Juliet Echo Bravo. Juliet Echo Bravo to runway 22 for 851 Tango Bravo. As you can see, we gave the uh, marshal there a quick flash of the lights. He let us know that we're ready to taxi. And he gave us the appropriate signals there to taxi forward and turn right is what he gave us. Big tight squeeze here in between these jets. So today we're here at Sarasota. We're going to be on an IFR flight up to Albany, Georgia. We have on board today Reggie. Reggie, the man of style. Welcome on board. Thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year, everyone. It's been a while. It has. It's uh Good to have you back on board. Hope everybody had a good New Year's Eve and Christmas uh, a few weeks ago. We wanted to do this flight yesterday, but uh, due to the fact of where we were going, there was a big frontal system that went through. There was tornadoes all throughout the area. That was our plan A, was to do it yesterday. We had to opt for plan B, which was delay this flight a day later. And that's why today we are now uh, flying this flight. I actually think the tornado touched down on or around the airport area, so we may see out of debris. Yes, yeah, supposedly a tornado did. It touched down right at Albany Airport area right there. I called uh, flight service and the airport. Everything is up and running, so the airport's good to go. Who knows what we'll see when we get around that area. Sarasota Tower, good afternoon. TBM 851 Tango Bravo with you hold short of runway 22. 
Team 851 Tango Bravo, Sarasota Tower, runway 22, line up and wait, traffic's rolling to 14. Roger, you're going to line up and wait, runway 22 for 851 Tango Bravo. All right, so we've been giving the uh, command to line up and wait, tower, which means we're going to go out under the runway here, we're going to line up the center line, and then we're going to hold our position and wait. There's another... 851 Tango Bravo, runway 22, you're clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 22, 851 Tango Bravo. There's another airplane taking off of 14, but that's clear now. We are giving clearance for takeoff, so here we go. Reggie, you ready to go? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. United 1218, coming Tampa departure, good flight. All right, take, take off, power set. Oil temperatures, pressures, all look good in the green. Everything else is running real nice, holding center line. And there's our rotation speed, pull back on the yoke. And we're up, we're into the air, here we go. We do have some cloud layer pretty low around this airport right now. You're about to go into it right now, you'll see. Coming right up here. It's a thin layer though, so nothing to worry about. And we'll start our turn a little bit here to 180. There's that cloud layer. When we came in here earlier today, I actually had to shoot the ILS and we went right down to minimums. Number one, Tango Bravo, connect Tampa departure, good flight. For departure, 851 Tango Bravo. Go flaps up, yaw damper on, and we'll go over to departure. Tampa departure, 851 Tango Bravo with you 1100 for 1600. November 851 Tango Bravo, Tampa departure ident. Here's your flash, 851 Tango Bravo. Hey, asked for an ident. We're going to transponder here, we're hitting the ident button. It's going to flash on a screen. 851 Tango Bravo, radar contact one mile south of the Sarasota Airport, climb and maintain 3000. Position checks up to 3000 for 851 Tango Bravo. So he found us on his radar. And he gave us clearance now up to 3,000 feet. Got a good view. We're going right over downtown Sarasota. Hey, hey Steve, were you were there a time that you were unable to land because of visibility? Yeah, there's been times where the uh, the weather is at minimums, and you go in to land, and you do not see the runway. It drops a little bit below minimums on short final, and you have to go around and either go into a holding pattern, or you'll have to go to your alternate airport that you filed on your flight plan for when you can't make it into your airport. That does happen once in a while, Reggie. Now, is it kind of like a split decision? Uh, yeah, you go down to a decision altitude or minimum descent altitude, and you have a point on your approach where you have to either make a decision. Go Bravo, climb and maintain 8,000, turn right heading 270. 8,000, 270 on the heading, 851 Tango Bravo. And there's a point on every approach where you have to make a quick decision at the last minute. If you see the runway environment, you have to, you can land, or if you don't have it in sight, then you're going to have to go around and go do your missile. Approach. 1 Tango Bravo, turn right heading 330. Tree, tree zero on the heading, 851 Tango Bravo. At 1218, climb and maintain 1 2000. All right, we got our right turn. We're going back up towards the direction of our airport that we're going to, which is a good thing. Facing right into the sun. Sorry, guys. I know it's probably not the best of view with the sun right in our face. Turn off the inertial separator, which is the light in the middle that you see on. And we're going to go into IS mode and climb out at 140 knots, which I just pushed up here on the autopilot control panel. There we got that sun pretty bright off the Gulf of Mexico over there setting. I am trying out flying eyes, sunglasses on this flight. Tango Bravo, turn right heading 340. 340 in the heading, one Tango Bravo. The flying eyes sunglasses, what's nice about them is the owner of the company is actually a pilot himself, so he understands what a good sunglass uh, is all about. He's got, they, he made them so they're non-polarized, which is nice, it doesn't interfere with the instruments. Uh, they're thin on the sides, so it doesn't break the seal of your uh, ear protection. Bravo, climb and maintain 1-2000. Up to 1-2000, one Tango Bravo. Line number 628, Echo, say again. Turn on the oxygen there up there for Reggie. In case you need it, right up here's our oxygen switch. So you can expect that in about seven months. We have any issue now? where the oxygen is already on, where we just put our masks on and we're good to go. Oh, a nice beautiful view out there off the Gulf of Mexico, guys. Well, we you. do have a little bit of weather that is uh, left over from the front that we're coming up on. Uh, we'll pick our way through that. We should be above most of that. I got a, uh, a Hawker 2-5 right behind you there. He's going to climb through your altitude. Now I'm going to step you up, represent. 
Roger, we'll keep an eye for that Hawker. One second, Bravo. Tango Bravo contact, Jacksonville Center, 128.05. 2805, Tango Bravo. Have a good day. Good day. All right, we'll check on with Jax here. Jax, good afternoon. TBM 851 Tango Bravo, the 15,800 for 16,000 on 350 heading. November 851 Tango Bravo, Jacksonville Center, is a moderate and heavy precipitation scattered throughout the area. You're clear direct to Cross City. I'll just keep an eye out for that uh, precip and up direct to Cross City. Thanks, 851 Tango Bravo. November 1 Tango Bravo, climb maintain flight level 240. Climb maintain flight level 240, 851 Tango Bravo. All right, that's what we filed for. So we've been giving clearance right up to our cruise altitude. We do, she gave us a warning uh, for heavy to moderate precip up ahead here. And we'll keep an eye out for that. Tampa approach, Legion 58, We should hopefully get above the majority of that precip. All right, if we check our weather here, Reggie coming up at Albany. Go over to the airport here. Our weather here is uh, the winds are 250 at Niner, 10 mile visibility, sky clear, 71 degrees, altimeter setting at 2989. Yeah, so it's a pretty nice day up in Albany. If we were to do this yesterday, it would not have been a very nice day because there was tornadoes rolling through the area. So it's a good decision. We chose plan B and came up at one day later. I totally agree with that. All right, we're currently, computer's Hello, telling us 13 more minutes from Albany. Reggie, what, what are you eating here in your in-flight snacks? Funyuns? Well, I wasn't eating anything. I got that from the FBO, oh. but I didn't eat it. You opened say, that, it. That is not anything that you'd normally eat. I can't believe you got that. We'll put that down there. You know, I was hungry, but then it is not going to work for me because I really don't care for them. Funyuns aren't going to cut it, huh? No, they're not. It must have been a spur of the moment decision. It, it was, and that's why I didn't eat any of it. And it's a beautiful sunset off there left here, out west. Take off the sunglasses. Won't be needing those anymore. AC 52, 45, Jacksonville Center, Roger. When flying six, at six, night, whiskey, once you get up to cruise uh, altitude, it's really nice to have all your cockpit lights as dim as you can possibly get them. That way you get real good visibility out the uh, windows. That's one uh, little trick I use when I'm at cruise altitude uh, when it's November real dark at night. I dim all the uh, lights of the cockpit real dark so that way you can still see the instruments but you got real good visibility out the windows. If you have the instrumentation really bright, it wrecks your night vision for looking out the windows for other airplanes. And oh, I see. So what's the temperature in Albany? Right now, let's see, the temperature in Albany is... We're showing a uh, beautiful 69 degrees, clear skies. Nice, nice. We'll get the ATIS right now, since we're descending down into the airport. Copy tower, information Yankee 2153 Zulu, wind 2507, visibility 10, south clear. Temperature 2, 1, 2.13, altimeter 2987, clear contact, Atlanta, 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 I noticed the uh, transmission of the ATIS was not normally as clear as what it normally is. I don't know if something with the tornadoes that came through maybe d uh, damaged their antennas, but uh, it, was, it was a lot more scratchy at this distance out compared to what it normally is. Yeah, I noticed that. It was a lot of static. Uh, maybe the tornadoes that just came through yesterday maybe damaged some of their broadcasting equipment. Yeah, that's probably exactly what it was. Beautiful sunset over southwestern Georgia. It, to have a job when you get to fly airplanes around for a living, it's uh, aviation is your passion. It's something you'll never regret to be able to have office views like this. Some exciting news, guys. Uh, be sure to go to the description below and go over to stevo1canevo.com and click on, we're doing an awesome drone giveaway this month. Hello, one Tango Bravo, Pause Discussion, maintain 3000 and Port Albany in sight. PD down to 3000 and we'll report the uh, airport in sight for you, Tango Bravo. And thanks to the Banyan Pilot Shop, we're giving away a cool drone this month. To win the drone, you're going to have pretty good odds. Just go over to sevo1canevo.com and click on the uh, link. You're going to go over to the Banyan Pilot Shop and sign up for their e-newsletter. And Banyan Pilot Shop runs a lot of cool promotions and discounts every month. And we will notify the winner at the end of this month via their newsletter. And uh, we'll be happy to give away one of you guys a really cool drone. All right, we'll get in battle stations here. 
I scoop my seat up and we'll uh, start looking out the front windows here looking for the airport. And there's the airport there out in front of us. We gotta drop it down, so we're gonna go about 3,000 feet a minute down here to get down. Jax 851 Tango Bravo, we have Albany in sight. November 851 Tango Bravo, you said you had the field in sight. Affirmative for 851 Tango Bravo, we have field in sight. November 1 Tango Bravo, clear visual approach from runway 22, contact tower 12025. Clear for the visual runway 22 and over to tower 120.25 for 851 Tango Bravo, have a good night. Good evening Albany Tower, November 851 Tango Bravo, due 14 to the southeast on the visual for 22. November 51 Tango Bravo, Albany Tower, wind uh, 2605, uh, left traffic runway 22, clear to land. Left traffic for runway 22, clear to land, 851 Tango Bravo, thanks. Hey, we're screaming here, we're doing about 240 knots indicated. We'll pull the power back here, and set up for uh, midfield, left downwind entry into runway 22. All right, Reggie, what do you think we should do? What, what, what do the viewers want to do? What do you think they want to do? Should we do a short approach or a big, long downwind and do a long final into the airport? Hey, guys, what do you want to do? I think everyone said a short approach. Short, short approaches fun. are more fun. Okay. Absolutely. I say we do short approach. Then. Short approach it is. We'll disconnect the autopilot. Sorry for everybody that had headphones on. I know that blew out your eardrums. Believe me, it did ours, too. <laughs> <laughs> Got the airport out here in front of us at our 10 o'clock. Beautiful sunset right on the horizon out there, out west. All right, we are now within our landing flap speed. Put the flaps down to the landing position. And along with selected, you always look at the indicator here and make sure it is also indicating. The tap of the autopilot disconnect just to take the uh, yaw damper off now. What I'm pitching for now is 90 knots. That's what I like to come in at with the uh, flaps full. Boy, beautiful night out there. All the pecan trees out there have lost their pecans. They're all bare. 500. I still yet to figure out how they get those pecans off of there. Uh, I don't know. All right, so we're on a close in left base. We're only 2-2. Two -two. Start our turn here for a very short final. We do have a wind off to the right side. But right on, actually, we just came in per on the proper glide path, too. Perfect right there. All right, pull the power back. Flight idle. Pull back on the yoke a little bit, go into our flare. Nice smooth landing, huh, ready? Very smooth. Awesome job. Yeah, right in the center line. And we'll expect to we'll pull back into beta here and we'll expect to get off on Charlie Intersection into the ramp. November 1, Tango Bravo, taxi to parking via left turn on Charlie. Remain in the circle, sir. Charlie, into the ramp with you, 851 Tango Bravo. Have a good night. You too. It's always fun to land at this time of night with the, uh, all the airport lights on. Alright guys, welcome to Albany, Georgia. It was a pleasure having everybody on board. I want to thank all the patrons and all the sponsors for supporting this channel. There's our marshaller right out there in front of us. He's got his... Uh, giving us the signal for the enter in here and we'll make a right turn towards them. We'll turn off our taxi light here, that way we don't blind them. This guy's new, I've never seen this guy here before. Once he crosses the batons, that means you come to a stop right there. Alright guys, take care. Talk to you again someday soon.